52. Unit 19, question 52. Please uh, look at your um, unit 19, question 52, and read through it and see if you can come up with a way to solve the problem. Okay, so um, this is this question is just um, manipulating logarithms, and uh, questions to manipulate logarithms occur frequently for the GAMSAT. And I would estimate that you could have anywhere between one and ten questions on the real GAMSAT that have uh, logarithms. One in ten questions. And the reason is because uh, logarithms come up in sound intensity, as it is here, but it also comes up in pH problems. Imagine how often something to do with acid and bases will come up, pKa, pKb, uh, pH, um, and, and so on. But also uh, logarithms come up in a rate law. Uh, there are some rate law equations that use natural logarithms or logarithms, and you have to know the basic rules in order to manipulate it. And quite frankly, sometimes they'll just bring up logarithms <laughs> in graphs that have nothing to do with uh, some of the equations that you might have learned uh, before. So you definitely have to be uh, very comfortable with it. We have a, we have a math page uh, which has some problems that I chose that I feel are uh, relevant for the GAMSAT. And it's, it's, it's also, there's a link to that on our free GAMSAT page. So, um, and there's also at the back of the, back, at the, back of the book, <laughs> at, the, at the back of the book there is a, uh, there's a math section. There's an appendix um, reviewing those important areas. And of course, doing some of the exams you know, in the book or the questions uh, from the book uh, also emphasize the type of logarithm problems that, uh, that come up on the exam. OK, so uh, for this particular question, um, your, first, your first step is to, to notice that, uh, that the sound intensity level, the change in sound intens intensity um, going from a normal conversation to the threshold of pain, when you look at the table one, uh, it's, it's a change in 60 uh, units. So then you, you get 60 is equal to uh, 10, um, and then log of, uh, of i over uh, 10 to the minus 12. Then you uh, divide both sides by, um, by 10, and then you get uh, 6 is equal to log of i over 10 to the minus 12. And now is where you do your um, uh, one of the logarithm rules to get rid of log. You raise both sides uh, to the power of 10. So if you had a natural log, if you had not log but ln, which is natural log, what would you have to raise both sides to? To what power would you have to raise both sides? Yes, you would have to raise both sides to the uh, to the power uh, to uh, to e. So here we raise both sides to ten to get rid of that log. So then we get ten uh, to the power of six. So ten superscript six, and that's going to be equal to uh, i um, over. Uh, 10 to the power of minus 12. And now uh, we just multiply both sides uh, by uh, minus 12 and 10 to the minus 12. And so uh, we get uh, 10 to the uh, power of minus 6, which is a change of uh, 10 to the 6. So uh, 52, the answer is uh, C, and um, well, well, the question is, can, can you, will they give you things you can't work out in your head? They, will get, they can give you some comp complicated looking logarithms, and that you can't, well, I don't know what you mean by work out in your head. You can't, uh, you'll have to write line by line. Uh, in order to make sense of it. Because sometimes they'll give you something and then you, you work it out, it comes down to log, uh, you know, 20. Okay? So just imagine, you have log 20. You don't know what the answer is. But they'll have, um, they'll give you log 2. 
And you should know from your logarithm rule that log 20 is equal to log 2 plus uh, log 10. Exactly. So, and then because they give you log 2 and you know log 10 is 1, then, uh, then you know that you, you can be able to determine the answer from that. So that is very common that you have to do um, some sort of uh, uh, manipulations in order, to, uh, in order to get the final answer. So you can't literally do it in your head, but you can do it with a pencil and a pen and a piece of paper. Um, but, but logarithms are, are, uh, come up frequently.